guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace those strip threads. You know, the ones you get with the transmission and the engine block. You go to torque it down and it just rounds it right off and strips the threads right out. I'm going to show you what kit I use and how to do it. So these are the kits I use. This is Power Coil. That's the company that makes them. Uh, I have to use an M12 by 1.25 pitch and an M14 by 1.50 pitch. Now the M14, that's on the back of the transmission where the main bracket goes to the back of the block and the transmission. Those are the 14 millimeters. And then I have the M12, the 12 millimeter threads that are going from the transmission into the block on a B-series Honda engine. All right, so this is the company power coil and it has a little cool locking mechanism right here. You can't open it until you slide it open, then it unlocks. And it's all hard plastic. So here it is right here, the instructions are on the back, it shows you what to do. Now this M12, the 12 millimeter kit, comes with a drill bit where the M14 doesn't. But that's really no big deal, you just get a 9 16 bit and drill it out. So it comes with the tap, and they're real nice quality, I mean it, this is really nice. It beats Healy Coil any day. Healy Coil comes with the tap, maybe a drill bit, and a plastic little uh, jobby that screws the coil in. Now they come with 10 coils, five in each little section here, and you have the part, once you drill it, then you tap it, and then you take your tool, and the Healy coil has that little piece right there, and this piece has a little indention. Now this piece right here, it's not plastic, it's solid steel all the way through. Really nice, heavy quality piece. So, you just take it like this, and you put it in there, and then you start turning it into the block once it's already been drilled and tapped. Now this piece right here, and I don't think I got this piece on this kit, this is a tap. So when you're done with it in there, you see that little piece at the back? You always got to break it off. They have little indentions on them right, right there. It's meant to break off so that you can screw the bolt. You put it in there once you screwed in the block and I guess you tap it and it busts it out and then you just blow it out with some air. So that's the uh, M12 kit. They're roughly around $60 each. Maybe a little less depending on where you find it. I actually could only find these two. There was only one in the entire market online. I couldn't find them anywhere else. So this one, it's a little more beefier. This one also comes with uh, the tap and the uh, tool, the key tool to put the Healy coil in, or the coil. Now, it doesn't come with a drill bit, but like it said, it takes a 9 16 drill bit. So these kits are excellent because when you're done with them, you just kind of slap that down, lock it up. You can flip them, the coils don't fall out and just store them away real nicely. All right, so on this transmission, these two thread holes are shot. You can put my finger all the way in that one and this one barely. There's still a little bit of thread left, but not much. So we're gonna be repairing both of these. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is either get some brake cleaner or some Windex or, you know, rubbing alcohol and then an air, air tool or air gun from your air compressor and blow it out, clean it out real good. So I'm just gonna spray a little Windex in here. Nothing crazy. Wear some goggles. Now a lot of times I like to just put a socket and a wrench on the end of it. But with this case, this one's too big for a 13 or a 12 millimeter, so it doesn't fit in between. And even standard doesn't fit. So I'm going to take the actual tool and I'm going to just remove one of them, as you can see here. <clears throat> and I want to take out the part that's swiveled and put like a different part in there or just lock it in there, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna put this in there like that and I'm just gonna tighten it till it gets right there and now I can just use it as a tap. Okay, so right before we go and put this in there, I'm just gonna spray a little WD-40 on in there, on the bit also. And usually you get your drill, it's a 9 16 but I'm not gonna do it because the hole's already pretty big as it is, so. I'm going to try and start it, but with most cases you do want to drill it because if the hole's too small, you'll end up, it'll end up, you know, just costing you a lot of problems. It could crack the case. So once I get this started, oh, almost, there we go. 
And you want it to go in straight, so. There we go. So now all it is is just a matter of turning it. And just keep turning it until you get to the, the back side. Now sometimes when it gets really, really tight, you're getting caught up on the threads and you want to back it out. So now I'm going to back it out and try to clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to go back in. There we go. So put your glasses on and then blow some of it out. And also blow it off of the actual tool itself. Then just throw a little more WD-40 in there and then get back to re-tapping it. So you want to hand feed it in there now just so you don't end up messing up any of the original threads that you got going on right now. So once you get that, it should spin pretty easy like that. Once you hit that brick wall in the back, you won't be able to turn it no more. And then you know you got a good thread job. Or tap. <clears throat> and there we go, we're pretty much all the way in there. So now I'm going to back it out. There we go. Okay, so you can see we're starting to get some real nice taps in there. We're going to want to blow it all out again, so wear your goggles. Okay, we got our hole tapped out really nice, it's clean. And we're going to take our Healy coil and our tool and we're going to put the tool in there like that and we're going to try to get it started. So you want to go in a little bit. There we go. Just like that. Now we're just going to turn it and keep turning it until it goes. See how smooth this is going in? It's because I tapped it really clean. So you don't have to worry about getting stuck or anything. So here's where we're going to be. We want to go a little bit in. So as you can see, I'm a little bit in there past the lip. And that's what we want. We don't want to be flush. So, let's get it a little bit more. <clears throat> and that's what we're looking at right there. Looks pretty good. You can see that Healy coil. Probably going to go a little bit more because the top right here is sticking up. So, I just finished tapping up the second one. And you just get your punch when you're at the end. You just kind of tap it and it breaks off that piece. Um, so, that's pretty much what it is. If you don't have anything to break it off. A lot of people just stick like an extension in there and break it off and then just kind of put a little piece in there, a little, you know, just a little pick or whatever and pull it out just like that. Now when putting a bolt back into a Healy coil, you don't want to have any kind of Loctite or plumber's tape because what will happen is, is when you screw it in there, It'll harden, and then when you go to take it back out, it'll leave it behind, and then when you go to screw the next bolt in, the Loctite will actually lock onto the bolt and to the Healy coil, and it might even push the Healy coil, spin it further into whatever you tapped it as. So I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't use any kind of Loctite or plumber's tape. Just clean the threads really good and bolt it in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, website, and Android app. All that can be found on my YouTube channel in the About Me section. I'm in the fast lane, and I'll see you guys next time.